Hello. Ah, just kidding. Hi. Hi. There it is. We love that, don't we, Chloe? We absolutely we love a hi. How did how did that come about? How did that come to be? You're doing it for a long time. Um, I think Dave Chappelle had a character who spoke like that when he was impersonating yeah. white people, and I was like, "That's really funny." <laughs> I'm going to do that from now on. It's a, it's kind of like Afrikaans. It's like you're saying shark every time. Oi! Noch a shark joke. We love you Afrikaans fans and We love and you followers. Gareth Cliff. If you've watched early episodes, you would have gotten that reference if you're an OG fan. If you, The joke is Gareth Cliff looks like a shark. <laughs> a <laughs> ragged tooth shark. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> I've got a new idea for the show's name. Okay. Instead of Kets and Clo, Kets and Ho. I thought you were going to say Chloe and Kets, maybe. Maybe I should come first. I always come first. hey <laughs> uh, that's disgusting. I mean, in a patriarchal society, yeah. men come first. My family listens to this. So. Oh, my. <sighs> wow. So how was your weekend then? <laughs> <laughs> my weekend was very good. We had a lovely family get-together, which we haven't had in a long time because of COVID. And my gran even showed up on a motorbike, which was super cool. That is cool. Grands on motorbikes. Yeah. She went to, my uncle has a motorbike and they went, I think it was like 170 kilometers on the freeway, which actually just made my heart skip a beat. <laughs> that is, what are you writing poetry to yourself here? Which made my heart skip a beat. I, that is the only thing I will enforce as a father is that my children will not have or be on motorbikes. They're yeah. just so dangerous. Yeah. That's, just, I mean, they call them donor cycles. Ah, I thought you said donut cycles. I was like, I've also seen some large people on motorbikes. Like, we bought a bike, a gang, but I couldn't chase you if I wanted to. Donut cycle. That's pretty heavy. Heavy start to the mm-hmm. podcast. Okay. How was your weekend? My weekend was lovely. I went to an engagement party. People are getting people are getting married. Um, I don't know. It's terrifying. People are getting married. They are actually fans of the show, followers of the show. Ah. They met through their mutual love of cats and <laughs> and now they're getting um, married while they're engaged. Engagement party is kind of weird. I'm too poor to come to an engagement party. Like, don't expect a gift. I will to come and drink, though. An engagement ring. Too poor to get an engagement ring. Will you marry me? <laughs> no? There, she just chuckled. <laughs> you know, kings out there... Make her propose to you. Why do men have to propose to women? That's what I want to know. They definitely don't. I think times are changing. So if I didn't propose to you, you'd propose to me. If you didn't propose to me, we'd never get married. Because I would just carry on waiting. Now the times are changing. Except for me. I'm going to be an old woman. You even said to me, you said, Chloe, if you propose to me, I'll break up with you. Yeah, I'll say no. I'll be like, don't, this is my moment. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the thoughts are about asking the dad for permission. That um, Kind of weird. Yeah, Unless he's the weird. one who has lots of money and that's why you're marrying her. <laughs> then you have to ask him for permission because that's the money you're after. You want to be on good terms with money bags. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll ask your dad. Hey, buddy Opal. <laughs> no, <laughs> and so what's your show and tell? We love a show and tell. My show and tell. So I'm currently on VAC, so... I thought I'd bring my rave glasses. How Um, many raves have you gone to? I have never gone to a (laughs) rave in my whole life. I think I've been clubbing. I can count on two hands. The amount of times I've been clubbing. Okay, I can also count on two hands. But but you know, it's (laughs) never too late. um, And I'm almost double vacced. So, and I hope everyone appreciates my color coordination. Some would say you're overdressed. Don't show them your boobas. (laughs) 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 For those of you listening... Just imagine, Chloe. No. Um, <laughs> anyways, tell me what's your show and tell? My show and tell is something iconic. It's a Twinkie. Because I just started, <laughs> they run my root. Ru- oh, they're called Tinkies. Stop. I thought these were called Twinkies. Stop. I'm not even joking. This, this might seem like we're pretending to be. This is, and it's milk tart flavored. I'm telling you, this is another Mandela effect. Everyone just thinks they're called Twinkies. Please, they are called Twinkies. Maybe they had a rebrand. Maybe this is a cheap one. I don't know, but they're delicious. And I was going to wait to eat the whole, I mean, to show you before, but I got hungry. So I ate some of it. It makes me also think, what's your fave fave old South African, I don't know, snack or sweet? Fizzes. Fizzes. I had one the other day for the first time in years and it was just, it was just too good. I'm not a fan of the fizzer. I prefer MDMA. (laughs) (laughs) No, 
I don't know. Fizzers were always at birthday parties. And if, I don't know, I always thought they were cheap. I think they were also used as like rewards in sports days. I think I associate them with winning. So I love the taste. Said no winner ever. <laughs> I, what I think about when I win, fizzers. What I really do think about is blue Powerade. Ah, you got to love blue Powerade. That can save you from a hangover. Mm-hmm. It can save you from a heart attack. And it can save you what, after you've just exercised. I didn't even tell you, but I went through a blue Powerade addiction like a month ago. And I would just sneakily go to Checkers to go and get it. That is concerning. Yeah. Just sucking them down. Yeah, but it, it was kind of a shameful addiction, I feel. Most I feel addictions like are. I think they're like really high in sodium. I was like, no, 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 like they're good for me. They're good for me. They're definitely not good for you. Yeah. Acro- they, I mean, they look amazing and they taste amazing and yeah. they make you feel amazing. Mountain Blast is the best. That's the big one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I mean, there's so much sugar. They're all tasty. But <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Speaking about disappointment, disappointing people who drink Powerade, the Springboks. Oh, we watched the rugby. Why is everyone dragging me from saying watching the rugby? What do you say? I watch rugby. No, I think they were like dragging you because you weren't watching the rugby. You oh. were sleeping. That's but true. it was worthy of you falling asleep. Chloe, I know as an ardent rugby fan mm-hmm. and intelligence woman, where did the Springboks go wrong against Australia this weekend? Samo, where didn't they go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never seen a ball dropped so many times in a professional rugby match. And that was for the time I was awake. I was for a sleep. I was, <laughs> for, a, I was for a sleep <laughs> half of the match. I was asleep for half of the match. Okay. And so they just knock-ons? Ah, that is the term I was searching for. Um, no, but I mean, it was just, I can't believe that so many mistakes were made. Also, when, what did Fuff do again? He, oh, he, he knocked the ball out of he got a someone's yellow card, hand. You know. Yeah. Silly. And then he goes, what did I get it for? And you're like, come now. You did mm. that purposely. So no, we do, we deserve to lose quite honestly. Yeah, we did. 100%. We, we are also like. The CEOs of blaming the ref for losing. Yeah. But we sucked so much that uh, we just deserve to lose. Everything was ruled in our favor. Oh, yeah. we got Usually we don't get calls. We got all the claw- calls. Yeah. Still sucked. But my question is, where is Russi? Like, where, where actually is he? I don't know. Has anyone seen him? <laughs> he's been, ab- he's now Coney 2012. He's been abducted. He's a child soldier. <laughs> 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 He'd be a good child soldier, Russi. Strong, <laughs> tall. Intelligent. No, but I think that there's, um, Sam's dad was also saying, I think there's some weird stuff going on. Well, he's he's waiting for a trial against World Rugby and they, mm. that's why they said they did, he didn't travel, but uh, it's, it he, is fishy. Yeah, so he was already charged with misconduct at the beginning of August, but now he's awaiting another trial with World Rugby. Yes, I don't know. It's yeah. it's It really... Is too much. It's the only time I'm like super patriotic. The rest of the time I'm going to ANC, Brasa, <laughs> ESCOM. This is the worst. Everyone. But no, I'm actually I'm actually very positive about mm. South Africa. Speaking about being positive about South Africa, did you register to vote? I did register to vote. No, her mom registered to, <laughs> to vote. Isn't that the most <laughs> pathetic don't? thing? No, 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 no. I didn't ask her to do that. She just registered me. So. And she probably voted for you already. <laughs> she can't do that. <laughs> uh, it was hilarious. We asked uh, Chloe's sister if she knows who Conor McGregor is. And she's like, I'm not really interested in politics. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. You managed to slip McGregor in. McGregor? McGregor in. Absolutely. Thank you, McGregor. I also went to register to vote. And yeah. I was trying out all my funny jokes with the IEC ladies. Yeah. And they independently laughed. <laughs> that's a little independent electoral joke um because they're like just remember the elections on the first of november i was mm-hmm. like ha, ha, i'm sure the da will call me 10 times to remind me and she was like <laughs> ha, ha, ha. but she actually didn't <laughs> laugh it was very awkward <laughs> and my roommate was like this is why i don't go places with you <laughs> well you guys did try to do it online but the website's just so shit yeah so if they're surprised that young people don't vote young people try to register online would have given up straight away because it was that pathetic yeah yeah, no wonder people are people are upset. They're protesting. Did you see the protest for the weekend? Anti-vaxxers? It was I, deemed thought, I thought you said protest for the weekend. Something I could get behind. Hey-oh. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> four day weekend who's buying who's a three oh, i'll take a three day one to start no yes the um, anti-vax yeah protest but in sea point it and it was deemed i don't know why it was deemed an illegal protest that's what i do you think it's too many people too many people oh, okay. i think there were like 600 people mm. there and then the outdoor gatherings either 250 or yeah. 500 oh, okay, that makes what sense. i want to know mm-hmm. is why are all the protests in C points, are people like see the mm. points of today? <laughs> <laughs> no, Sam, no, 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 no. <laughs> Any takers? Yo. Any takers? I'm just alone in a room with Chloe, so I, <laughs> I, I, I at least assume one out of ten would have found that funny. <laughs> and you're the one ten percent that I'm chasing. Hi. So, what's your opinion on the anti-vax protest then? Um. I mean, what are what are your real feelings about these anti-vaxxers in C points? I think it's. Uh, what do you call it? It's not necessarily like, I think mean, maybe mob mentality, but I think there's so much misinformation bah. going on. Bah. That's exactly. what they call us. They're like, we sh- the people who've been vaccinated, me? Well, that's not where they do it, but you know what I mean. Being yeah. vac- Chloe's been vaccinated. Most uh, intelligent people, might I add, have been vaccinated. They yeah. call us sheeple because sheeple. Yeah. we're following along. I mean, I think everyone's entitled to their beliefs and whatnot, but I think it is dangerous when there's large groups of people spreading misinformation. True. I yeah. Did you see the woman with the cardboard sign? We'll pull it up um, in the YouTube video. But there's a woman with a cardboard sign. It says her sign reads: "Nine Eleven equals hoax. COVID equals hoax. <laughs> Vaccine." Equals hoax. <laughs> what? Come That's on. Okay. I just saw other ones that said stop 5G. They're just protesting for other stuff at the same time. <laughs> no, it's it's yeah. it's terrible. Guys, the coronavirus itself has been around since 1930. It was discovered on a poultry farm in the States. And the actual vaccine has been in the works for 20 years. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like this vaccine was just created a year ago, which I could then understand why people might be scared to take it. Um, but coronavirus has been around. It's been so here. Like, Susan, just because your 20-year-old son is a fuck-up doesn't mean that the 20-year-old vaccine will be... I don't know too many yeah. things about some um, actual stats. I just know how I feel. And this feels stupid that yeah. people are doing. Like, there was a shame, like this 10-year-old girl now then, like, stands up in front of everyone and starts screaming, we have rights, we can say yes, we can say no. Mm. I was like, you don't even have a pen license. <laughs> this is the problem behind Greta yeah. Thunberg championing change because people yeah. now think, now everyone is a... So it's true, terrible. The worst sign I saw, worse than 9-11, which is tough, like, yeah. come on, also, this was like a, a colored auntie holding the sign. This is a white person mess up. Come on, South Africa, we're better than this. <laughs> but the 9-11 sign was bad. This other sign read, end medical apartheid. You just can't be no. doing stuff like that in South Africa. For reals. For real. And for TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> little Instagram reels and TikTok that was joke there. Um, no, I wouldn't say brilliant. I'd no, no, say pretty good, joke. Sam. No, no, I know. Oh. Pretty good. Oh. Brilliant, but, you know, I'm, I'm a cocky individual. But Fair h- enough. How can you go around in South Africa with our history holding up a sign and medical apartheid? Yo. And it's, and it's also, I mean, it's, you are, it's also by choice. You have the choice whether to vaccinate yourself or not, you know? I do think that's one anti-vaxxer argument is that they are saying we should, businesses are going to force people to be vaccinated. It looks like, you know, South Africa, we're 10 years behind. And yeah. Corona, we're five months behind. Yeah. So these vaccine passports are going to become a thing. Yeah. And businesses and employees. I've seen quite a few people. UCT even was like, you need to be vaccinated to come here. And I was like, no, you need to be clever to come there. TBH, I wouldn't even mind that because I'm so desperate to go back on campus. Yeah. Like, if that's how you're allowed back on campus, then, I mean, then you still have the choice because they'd probably have online learning available. You can then stay online if you don't want to get vaccinated, but I want to be back on campus. But this is why I fundamentally don't believe in democracy. People are too <laughs> stupid. No, they really are. They really, like, and I've been called a sheeple because I'm trying to save everyone and live a healthy life. No. <laughs> Strap them down into chairs and just jab them. <laughs> I'm trying to save everyone. <laughs> Tim Noakes would disagree, so. <laughs> yeah. It's a Michael Scott meme after you get vaccinated. What? Excuse me. He goes, um, 
Did I just save a life? Yes, my <laughs> own. <laughs> Am I a hero? Can't tell. Yeah, Michael Scott. I mean, if Michael Scott's not an anti-vaxxer, then... Ah. Also, Donald Trump, who you think is the biggest spread of fake news information, mm. whatever, oh, yeah. ever, is vaccinated. So, that's it. That should be, that should be enough for you. He's just got the 5G implant, so you know we should who, all just shut up. Exactly. He's a great hotspot. You know who isn't vaccinated? Jacob Zuma. Now choose. There we go. <laughs> now choose. This now is also the perfect time to choose a bit of an ad break. And magically look while we advertise this fantastic offering from Campus Key and <laughs> magically change clothes and hairstyle. See you in a bit. Clodog. Samuel. Are you a varsity student looking to move out? I am. That Do sounds you like me. enjoy the idea of living in a safe, diverse, fun-loving community? I do. That sounds amazing. Would you like to live in a building that has its own gym, cafe, and rooftop terrace? Sign me up. How much would you like your annoying daddy to stop interrupting you? I'd like that very much. I could go on and on and on about what sort of establishment. Campus key. Live your best life. She gets it. She understands it. Campus key. Our website, their website rather, will be in all of the links to this video. Go check them out. If you're a student, stop playing games. Get to Campus Key. Facts. Lovely. Back to the pod. Ah, what a great ad. <laughs> Some <laughs> fantastic gonna, acting. I was going to fist pump you. Some fantastic acting yet again. Mm -hmm. So what else, what's, what else has been going on in the world? Current events? You always on it? This maybe isn't a current event, but it's been on my mind recently is doppelgangers most certainly not a current event most certainly not but it has been on my mind did you know what is a doppelganger for people maybe someone's at okay. home maybe no, they're no. an anti-vaxxer they don't know what the <laughs> doppelganger is so the direct translation is a double walker pretty much like it's someone who looks exactly like you ableist but it's a biologically unrelated look-alike or double of a living person so both of us each have six people in the world who look like us but aren't biologically related to us. Six people in the world. It, where does that six people come from? Is that a maths equation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do you have some proof? I mean, let me see a doppelganger of you. Or do you have one of me? Yes. Who do you okay. have? Okay. No, no, no. Well, okay. first I was going to show you, because I mean, there's so many celebrities that you can kind of then pick out people, celebrities who look like celebrities. Yes. How crazy is this? Oh, yes. We'll put it up on the screen. Katy Perry, Zoe Deschanel, Deschanel yeah. identical. It's just Victoria Justice and Nina Dobrik. That is the same person. Yeah. I don't even know who this is. This is, um, ugh, what's her name from Clueless? Oh, just, he anyways. looks clueless in that photo. People who look like celebrities. Wow, that guy wow. must have heard so many Obama jokes. <laughs> this guy, this one guy yes, who looks like can. Obama. Yes, we look like each other. One guy <laughs> who looks, well, I mean, one girl who looks like Emma Watson. Okay, but I prepared your doppelganger is Radamel Falco. That's that's pretty close, right? This is the most... Falcao? In Falcao. He's Falcao? a soccer player. This is the most insulting thing I've seen in a while. Why? He looks like a perverted version of me. That yes. guy looks like a per okay, okay, I see what you're talking about I'm there. saying I'm saying when I put it into the site and now they have your image so sorry about that. <laughs> um when I put it into the site this I think that this is pretty pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's pretty fair. I mean, I've heard, I've had worse and I've certainly have better yeah. than beat I mean, his career in the Premier League wasn't great. He's a great soccer player. Actually, he's a saucy looking dude. I'll take it. He'll take I'll it. say he's my doppelganger. Okay. And then these are mine. Katy Perry. So I must be some ugly guy and Chloe can be Katy Perry. Well, no, that's just what the site came up with. I can't, I can't change that. Fair and enough. then a lot of people have told me that I look like Janelle Evans from Teen Mom. Fake Chanel Evans. Yeah. That's crazy. No. Also in the, um, one of the comments, yeah. someone was like, Megan Fox. And then great or less than sign, Chloe. So Chloe at the moment thinks I she's more attractive than Megan Fox. Thank you guys. It's caused a rift in our rift, a rift <laughs> in our relationship. The double R got me there. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> Can you do this one? <laughs> what? I was uh, never mind. That wasn't very good. <laughs> people listening aren't gonna be lost. I love the people that listen. You guys are like ultimately my favorite people yeah. because you're just such troopers for putting up with us. I love it. Speaking of things that I don't want to put up anymore, I read okay. a terrifying headline. 
Cape honeybees suspected to have killed 63 African penguins. First of all, before you lose your mind, xenophobia has not been ruled out yet. (laughs) The African penguins have rallied together and they're going to discuss their way forward. More troublingly is that the bees are still at large. (laughs) Killer bees. Stay at home. Save lives. Save lives. (laughs) Stay at home. Save lives. Save the bees. How crazy is that? That is wild. 63 bees were 63 penguins rather yeah. were attacked by bees and now they're dead what the not cape? so happy feet <laughs> dead feet dead penguins no it's terrible is this what type of penguin uh, african penguin are those ones on boulders black lives matter for penguins too so we want a full inquiry to be honest i have never liked bees everyone save the bees do this to the bees wow wow, wow. fuck the bees but you like honey so that's fine where else are you going to get honey from? Bees are terrifying. I always, a bee would come to a birthday party I was at when I was a young child. I said to the mom there, I'm allergic to bees. Get this thing away from me. Am I? No, I'm just terrified of that. That was always hilarious as young kids. If there was a bee in the vicinity of a party, everyone would just freak out. Yeah. No. Do you know that a bee only produces one teaspoon of honey in its whole life? Yeah. You're that's a waste. De- that's depressing. No, Shame. They literally you, call marks bees and I hate them. <laughs> put that in your tea every night. Yeah, it doesn't even do much. It's like, life's uh, work and your tea. <laughs> <laughs> I know people that have made life work out of tea. Bagging. Bit of a stretch. Bit of a force, yeah. that one. Um, okay. Didn't really like it. But yeah, if you're faking allergies to get away from these things, they're probably not great. Fair enough. Anything else? Your contemporary news? We are going for a slightly shorter episode yes. because we're doing two episodes a week. Yes. And we hope you guys like it. We've seen a lot of love for the... The Cassidy Nicholson episode, we enjoyed it thoroughly. Hopefully, we've got another guest, but mysterious, but maybe yeah, unbooked yeah, yeah. as well, because some of us can't do admin. <laughs> that some of us is me. Um, so, we'll keep you posted. It should be Monday, yeah. Thursday. Thank you already. I'll just drop it in the middle of the pod for yeah. listening, for sharing. Keep doing it. We love it. We love you. Or maybe you'll just see more of us on Thursday. I don't think there'll be many complaints about that, so... Okay, Chloe's clearly gotten very cocky. I appreciate every second you part of your time to listen to Kids Eat Toast sometimes. Whereas Chloe, she takes you for granted. It's a good cop, bad cop dynamic. But Would you be a good cop or a bad cop? I think I'd like to be a bad cop. Okay, look, make direct eye contact. This is a bit of a game we're going to play now. We'll do a new, we'll make our guests act sometimes. Okay. Look directly in your take camera mm-hmm. and be a bad cop. I've just come in. Hand cuffed it doesn't matter what i'm in for you're the bad cop go tell us what you did this is a flashlight confess i think i should be a good cop (laughs) (laughs) wow that was some of the worst bad copying i've ever seen it'll have to be saved by me now i'll be the good cop hey let's get you out of those handcuffs hey come on guys what do we do can i get you a coffee yeah it's been a long day so where the buyer is buddy (laughs) I tried to be both and I panicked and I messed up the sentence. I think the takeaway here is <laughs> neither of us would be good cops. No, yeah. Or I mean good or good at being good or bad cops. Fair the South enough. African Police Service, we respect you. <laughs> I wasn't laughing at that. Stop we with do. the roadblocks. We do respect them. Not because I want to drink and drive, I just the, the roadblocks. Roadblocks give me anxiety. I've literally pulled myself over voluntarily. They didn't even wave my car down. I was just like, no, no, no. <laughs> you got I'll me. I'll do your job for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, and cop, then I cop. hadn't put my license in. So she was like, I would fine you, but you also pulled yourself over. So we're even. <laughs> if people are in America listening to this, <laughs> this is white privilege. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, so in more recent South African news, the the Blyde, which is um, like a sort of, people live there, but it's also kind of like a hotel, a resort sort of area. Um, has been slammed online for making occupants pay 250 rand to use the Pretoria Beach. So it's basically like a... Ma- hold on, hold on. Okay. The Pretoria Beach. Yes, it's a man-made lagoon. Oh, okay. So, well, you have to explain that. I, I, I was getting there. I was you got the Pretoria talking. Beach. I was like, I've been there. Yeah. There's no beach. There's nothing. How <laughs> <laughs> train. <laughs> yeah, so people are re- getting really upset about that because they're... Usually hasn't been any restrictions on it, and now they're making people pay two hundred fifty rand. Capitalism, man. I've 
I've seen what it looks like and I wouldn't pay the 250 rand. <laughs> yeah, just a fake body of water. Come to the beach and pay. This is one. Come, come, <laughs> come to Miami. Lose your mind. Dale. <laughs> you can't just say that on every podcast. Because you'll make podcast. a compilation once you've got like 50 podcasts under the belt. And then you'll go, this guy had four sights and a foreskin. No. Have you seen Pitbull with hair? <laughs> I have. He is dashing. He is. Beautiful looking beast. We can beast. put a picture up for those of you guys who are watching. That's, I, now when he says mommy, I'm like, arr, <laughs> arr. I'd let him take me to the hotel motel holiday in. Oh, tell. Wait. Sing it. You get that hotel motel holiday in. Me, me at the hotel. <laughs> yeah, what a song. That and Tinder. Ah, Tinder. What? Timber. That gets me on the dance. If I hear Timber, K, dollar sign, ha. Huh? Kesha? Or like a She's G6. A beast. I start just <laughs> cutting shapes, son. I think that we should do a Ket episode drunk. Or like drink. My personality has been described as drunk. I'm just so crazy. At this engagement party I was at, I started telling this funny masturbation story. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Were you sober or drunk? I was sober. And I was talking to a mix of parents and younger people. Unashamedly at that. So please keep inviting me to your engagement parties. I'll, <laughs> I'll switch up my content. I promise. Are we ready for a bit of overrated, underrated before we well, we'll wrap this We're up? We're ready. All right. Overrated, underrated, South African edition. Ooh, saucy. Here we go, Clodog. Voting. Underrated. Go do it. Streaming illegally. Underrated. C point. Overrated. Anti vaxxers. Underrated. They're a danger to society. Twinkies. Underrated. Delicious. Delicious. Mandela. Underrated. Absolutely. BBC. Overrated. I don't care to elaborate further. <laughs> <coughs> She's the one, Kings. <laughs> She's the one. <laughs> oh, well, I think that's where we end it. I think that's us. A bit short again. Wait, were you saying BBC? Like, I thought you meant the BBC network. No, no. You know which one I was talking <laughs> about. So that'll be us. I just want to say a quick hello to Jaden Gideon. He's one of my our lo most loyal fans. And he promised me money if I said his name. He didn't. <laughs> I just wanted to say hello to him. Cute. So thank you, Jaden. Thanks for watching. And thanks to all you other loyal beasts who Thank just you guys. make cats part of your life. We really appreciate it. Keep sharing it. We nearly, we on our road to a thousand subs. We are. TikTok's doing half a million views a month. What? Yeah, it's crazy. So thank you so much. It would literally be nothing without you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye, Chookies. <laughs>